Hi, today I want to show you how to test capacitors. And to do that, you need a multimeter that has a capacitance setting. And right here is the capacitance setting. And this is the Mastec 8268, but there's many multimeters that can do this. Now, the first thing you want to do before you measure the capacitance of a capacitor, you need to discharge it. That's assuming you just took it off the motor or the air conditioner that it was installed on. And to discharge a capacitor, what you need to do is you take a screwdriver or something metal or a piece of wire, but obviously you want to be insulated and you just touch it across the contacts to make sure the capacitor does not have any charge built up on it. So even though these are not charged, I'll make sure they're discharged and I'll do that on all of them. You definitely want them discharged before you start measuring the capacitance. All right, so let's start with this air conditioner dual run capacitor. So we'll turn this to the capacitance setting right there. And on this one, it's a 45 by five microfarad plus or minus 6%. So we need to find the common. Here's the C, so this is the common. This is the fan, and this says HERM, stands for Hermetic Compressor. So to measure this, or to test this, you're gonna measure from the common to the fan and from the common to the HERM. And the HERM is gonna be the higher value, so that's gonna be, or should be 45, and from the common to the fan should read close to five microfarads. So let's give it a try. All right, here's the common. Here's the, and here's the fan. Okay, you'll see it build up. Okay, so it's reading 4.856. That's within 6% of five. So this one's good. All right, now let's check the compressor side of the capacitor. Forty-four point one seven. So that is within six percent of forty-five. So this capacitor is good. All right, let's try this one. This one's an old one. It's swollen, but yeah, well, right here you can see where the label used to be. I don't know what its value should be, but I don't think it's going to read what it's supposed to read, even though we don't know what that number is. Let's give it a try. Three point nine nine microfarads. So, depending on what the value is supposed to be, this may or may not be a good capacitor. I'm guessing that it is not good, since it is swollen and very old. All right, let's try this new one. This is a seven and a half plus or minus six percent. And we get 7.42, that's within 6% of 7.5, so this one is good. Okay, now I've got this really small capacitor. Ten point seven four. So I don't have a percentage that this one could be off, but this is off by about 7%. I think this capacitor is just fine. So that's how you measure capacitors. Make sure they're discharged before you check them. Make sure when you take it out of the machinery that it's operating that you don't touch the contacts, you'll get a nasty shock. Set your multimeter to the capacitance setting on these dual run capacitors, you're gonna have two different readings, one from for the fan and one for the compressor. And you measure both of those against the common, obviously. So that's all there is to testing capacitors. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.